Pre-Raphaelite School of Poetry. The Pre-Raphaelites movement asserted the freedom of art and artist from the control of society. In brief, it is a rebirth of Romanticism and reaction against Victorianism. It is called Pre-Raphaelite because it infused into poetry the spirit and ideal of Italian painters before Raphael. The aims and objectives of this movement are to have genuine ideas, and to study nature attentively. It excluded conventional things and produced what the painters had produced in paintings before Raphael. The term Pre-Raphaelite is more associated to painters than to the poets. It is an idealist movement against the materialism and didacticism. The German painters Cornelius and Overbeck founded a society in Rome in 1810. The name of the society was the German Pre-Raphaelite Brethren. They gave this name to themselves because they derived inspiration from the Italian painters before Raphael. They found in their painting sweetness, depth and sincerity of feelings. In 1848, Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood was founded in England by three young painters. They are Dante Gabriel Rossetti, Millet, and William Holman Hunt. Their aim was to return to older principles in paintings. Rossetti and many others were gifted writers. Their works gave rise to a literary movement. In their paintings, they advocated close study of nature and revival of the spirit and methods of earlier Italian painters. When their movement progressed, it developed a literary manner of its own. There were some notable poets influenced by this movement. They were William Morris, A.C. Swinburne, and Christina Rossetti. Characteristics of the Pre-Raphaelite School Medieval Outlook the Pre-Raphaelites were influenced by Middle Ages like the poets of Romantic School of Poetry. They were inspired by romance, chivalry, and superstitions of the Middle Ages. For example, John Keats' Eve of St. Agnes is a typical Pre-Raphaelite poem. This poem is filled with picturesque descriptions and exquisite qualities. The same elements are found in the poetry of D.G. Rossetti and his school. These poets added to the very charm of literature. Art for art's sake? The Pre-Raphaelites were above all artists and art was everything for them. They were free from morality and didactic purpose. John Keats, the second generation romantic poet, comes very close to them. They had no morality to preach and no reform to introduce through the medium of their poetry. Love of beauty was their creed. They aimed at painting and finish just like that of painting. They intended to create beauty for its own sake. The only motto of them was art for art's sake. Scenes and situation, lavish imagery and wealth of details are the chief characteristics of Pre-Raphaelites. Their poetry was pictorial and it was highly rhythmic and rich in color. The poetry was melodious as well. It is marked by sensuousness and passion. The Pre-Raphaelite poetry rendered in minute details. Vivid visual presentation. Pre-Raphaelite poetry was strongly pictorial because it depicted the minute details. The poetry reflected their capacity for observation. Rossetti in his poem, Silent Noon tells how he sat in the grass and bowed with sorrow. He retained this small fact in his mind. So, his Silent Noon is a beautiful piece of word painting. Rossetti's another poem The Blessed Damosel is equally powerful poem. Sound and Sense Sound and sense is one of the important features of this school because the Pre-Raphaelite poetry is rich in melody and music. The poetry deliberately produces sounds due to the exact meaning of the words. According to Emile Legouise, their use of vowels and consonants seemed stronger than the thought and imagery. For example, in the poetry of A.C. Swinburne, there is a flow of musical language and it is very swift. His poetry did not appear to be the result of any conscious effort. His thoughts hardly could have been intentional. In his poem Atlanta in Calydon, there is alliteration and onomatopoeic effects seem to arise very spontaneously. 
they had no morality to preach. Their aim was perfect form and finish. They were pictorial poets and love for beauty was their creed. Their works appeared in a colorful style, their poetry marked by sensuousness and passion. In brief, art was their religion and they escaped from the world of vulgar realities to a land of beauty and art. Please, subscribe Literature Guide.